I hit the ball. Hide the ball bearing and then swap cups. On the first swap, switch the cups that do not have the ball silently. After that, you can switch any two cups, but you have to tell me which numbers you're swapping. I swap two and three. I swap one and three. I swap two and three. I swap one and three. I swap one and three. I swap one and three. Oh, crap. None of them are marked. What kind? Never mind. If you remember. Those look a lot like the. Disappearing egg. Lot. Here, hold on, I'll try this again. There it is. How did you do that? Luck. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. You're damn right it's luck. I fucking guessed. I could earn a fortune down at the pub. Hmm. Giving up my secret? That will cost you. What do you want? Close your eyes and count to a hundred, silently. Why? It's part of the ritual. I feel like the horse is ours. One, two... Silently. There. That should let me into the grad wing without the alarm ringing. Oh, hi, Malik. I was just coming to see you. Hi, Sam. It's not a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. I was just fired. Oh, I'm sorry. But you probably don't need the money, right? Of course I need the money. My parents have six other kids to feed and educate. I try to take as little from them as possible. I don't know what I'll do now. I have to find another job. Sorry. working for that guy. So, why did you sign up for the experiment with Styles? I'm a huge fan. Styles is why I came to Oxford. Then he quit teaching before I got a chance to take a single class with him. Why doesn't he teach anymore? From what I've seen, he wasn't physically disabled by the accident. And he's sane enough, I think. He's reachable. He just needs to be pulled out of himself. And for people to quit screwing with his head. Look, I have to go. See you later. Bye.
I don't know the person who... That's Malik's room. I don't think there's any point in searching it. Angela? Oh, hi. Is this Angela Mulholland's room? It says I'm her roommate, Kelly. Hi, I'm Sam. Angela's not here. Is there something I can help you with? That's a gorgeous sweater you got on. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite, actually. My mother made it. You're kidding. No, she's quite good. I can't eat a thing myself. Me neither. That's amazing. Does Angela have a lot of friends? Oh, not that I know. I think you're the first one I've ever met. She doesn't talk about a friend of hers who's really into magic? No. Oh. Do all graduate students have roommates? It depends what you sign up for. I just transferred here. I thought it would be a good way to get to know people. So, how do you like rooming with Angela? Fine. Yeah, it's been fine. I'll probably get a room by myself next term. I think it's harder to adjust to living with a stranger when you're more mature. So much pink everywhere. I don't get how Kelly stands this. I can't poke around while Kelly's in the room. The view looks nice, but it doesn't give me the beginning of a clue. I know Angela seems shy and fits perfectly to the dreamy girly type, but this goes way beyond what I thought. I need to get Kelly out of here so I can search this room. Hmm. Do you have some paper? I think I'll leave a note for Angela. Sure. Sorry, can I borrow a pen? By the way, I love your bedspread too. Do you? Um, ink stuck. Crap. I am so sorry. My sweater! Listen, run to the bathroom and wash it really well with cold water and soap. It will come out, I swear. But... Hurry, before it sets! I hope that comes out. This magazine is old, and well read by the look of it. Obsess much? This magazine is old. This magazine is... This ma... Angela looked better as a brunette. Angela looked... Angela look Angela
That must be Angela's father. Interesting looking guy. I think that's the island where Angela grew up. Beautiful. I think that's the... So Angela's not a natural blonde. Interesting, but hardly a crime. Well, whether or not it's a crime depends on your point of view, I guess. Angela's really into fairies. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Angela's... Angela... Angela, and Angela, and <sighs> this magazine is. Water worked. The ink's gone. I can't believe it. That's a relief. I was just uh, looking at this picture. Oh, that. That's Angela's dad. He owned a pub on the Isle of Mull, but it burnt down a few years ago. He was killed in that fire. That's awful. I had no idea. She doesn't like to talk about it. Weird. I've met several people with horrible losses like that recently. Did you write that note? No. I think I know where Angela is, so I'll just run over there. Well, if I see her first, I'll tell you to stop by. Um, okay. Thanks. See you. You have a minute? What is it? I looked into Helena's background. She started Oxford this year, but she could have been around long before that. I found a theater program in her room dated October 2002. October? Yeah. Also, I think she may have a drug problem. I found a syringe and bottles in her room. Could there have been a prescription? Maybe a suppressor? She's young and healthy. Why would she need a prescription? She's obviously rich and a party girl. So because she's rich, she must be completely lacking in judgment. Never mind. Fact. She had a bottle and syringe in her room. I'll leave my opinion out of it. Good idea. Angela started Oxford in September 2002. But she seems pretty immature for her age. Her room is very pink. She doesn't have many friends, according to her roommate, and her father died in a accident. I get the feeling she's a little backwards. Do you want my opinion? No. Okay. <laughs> I've thought of a way to prove whether or not the incidents on campus are being rigged. Oh? If we change the time of the experiment, say move it up to 3 p.m., and change the place where it's supposed to occur. 
Then it would be impossible for anyone to rig something up in time. Good idea. Really? It shouldn't matter to the experiment, so why not? But we'll have to think of a new location in the exercise. And you'll need to notify the students about the time change. No problem. For tonight's experiment, what about using this? It's a discus. And we could use Horse Path Track as a location. No one would expect us to go back there. Mm, it's very tactile. Should make for a good visualization. All right, Sam. Great. Well, I need to know after all. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Eddington? Yes. Can I help you? Yes, I'm Miss Pembroke from St. Edmund Hall College at Oxford University. We have a problem concerning the registration of your son, Charles. What's the matter? Nothing important, I hope. Is he talking? Nothing important, madam, but we happen to have some confusion about Charles's photograph. Could you describe your son, please? Oh, yes. Yeah. My boy's tall, with a lovely angel face and blue eyes, and adorable blonde hair. <laughs> Is everything okay for the school? Well, that's strange, because the photograph we have on file shows him kind of shorter and heavier. Oh, yes. He changed a lot last year. He joined the athletics team and shot up a good eight inches. You don't know how disconcerting it is to have your son turn into a hunk. Hmm. I suppose it's okay then. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eddington. That's all right. Goodbye. Wow, so much for my theories. Ew. That's not something you'd want to run into. This is where that ghost disappeared. I should look around to see if there's some mechanism hidden around here. No wires. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing rigged to these chairs. Looks like a monk or Quasimodo post surgery. I don't see anything suspicious. I suppose I could check David's room now, but if he caught me, he'd freak. Looks like a... I guess none of these rooms have been used since the... You better stay put, Houdini. Have Mom and Dad. Houdini must have mistaken.
My window overlooks trees at the side of the house. I could climb down if ever I need to escape in a hurry. What is it, baby? Samantha. Listen, um, I talked to Dr. Stiles about changing the time and location tonight as you suggested, but he didn't go for it. He's really adamant about sticking to the experiment plan as written. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I know. Oh well, just wanted to let you know. It was a good suggestion though. Yes, very glad I made it. I need to talk to the Lambs Club about the time change, but maybe I'll just head over to St. Edmund Quad. They hang out there. Hi! Hi, Sam. Hey. What's going on? Dr. Stiles changed the time for tonight's session. It's been moved up to three this afternoon. Can you all make it? I'm free. Oh, I have a class, but I can miss it. Charles? In for a penny, in for a pound, my mum always says. Yeah, I can be there. I'm gonna meet Harvey later. Want me to tell him? Yeah, thanks. What about Helen? Oh, I already talked to her. It's cool. See you soon, guys. Bye, Sam. See you. Yeah, uh, bye. that the experiment is still like planned for tonight. Hmm. You didn't investigate further? Then again, I haven't heard of any incident related to last night's session. So maybe everything's okay? We'll discuss that later. Gotta go! It's just not possible to have all of you in the same room at the same time. Where's Helena? Oh, um, she had a conflict. Due to the time change and everything. It would have been nice to have known that several hours ago, wouldn't it? I heard a wonderful poem in class today. I thought you all might like to hear it. Shall I strew on thee rose or rue or laurel, brother, on this that was the veil of thee? Or quiet sea flower molded by the sea, or simplest growth of meadow, sweet or sorrow, such as the summer sleepy dryads weave, waked up by snow soft sudden rains at eve. Sam, you know the rest of it. You must be in the lit department. Charles Swinburne is a favourite at St Edmunds. Of course I know Swinburne. A bit flowery for my taste. If you know it, then finish it for us. You do know it. For thee, O oh now a silent soul, my brother. 
Take at my hands this garland and farewell. Thin is the leaf and chill the wintry smell. Content thee, Passaway, whose days are gone. There lies not any troublous thing before, nor sight nor sound to war against thee more. For whom all winds are quiet as the sun, all waters as the shore. I bet my mum would like it. Now that we've been regaled with Swinburne, let's get started. Shall we? Pass that around. This is what we'll be visualizing today. Bye. Good night. Eddie, it's Sam. Did anything happen at the track this afternoon? Nothing at all. All right. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Game, set, match, Mephistopheles. So sorry. Slow down, Exactly what happened. And this was at the dining hall at St. Edmund Hall. All right. I'll, I'll take care of it. Samantha? Samantha! Sam's not here. She told me she was going to London, wouldn't be back till late. What is it? Oh. Love it. Why is that creature never around when it would be bloody useful? David, what's wrong? I'm going to have to go to Oxford. Damn it. Are you sure you should... Call the driver. Tell him to hurry. Alright, well that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.